Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today I'm going to be continuing the AP Calculus, and I'm going to be working on the 2014 free response questions. And here we start with number one. Okay, so grass clippings are placed in a bin where they decompose. For zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to 30, the amount of grass clippings remains in the bin is modeled by this. Man, the first question is almost always a rate question, it feels like where A of T is measured in pounds and T is measured in days. Find the average rate of change of A of T over the interval A to 30. Okay, for average rate of change, it's a secant slime slope, right? Instantaneous rate of change is where we do derivatives, but there's no derivatives here. The average rate of change is just what the change was from zero to 30. So the average rate of change would be equal to A of 30 minus A of zero over 30 minus zero. That's kind of a secant line slope. And, um, okay. So 6.687 times, well, let's do parentheses here. 6.687 times 0 0.931 raised to the 30th minus 6 6.6 eight, seven, um, point nine three to the zero is just one divided by 30. I got negative 0.197. Now the units of this are, well, the top units are in A. A is measured in pounds and T is measured in days. So it's pounds per day. B, find the value of the derivative at 15. Well, the derivative Okay, 6.687 is the constant. The derivative is 0 0.931 to the t, and then I multiply by the natural log of 0 0.931. So a prime at 30, and this is, um, Yeah, uh, I actually don't, I always forget if I multiply or not. <laughs> um, it's e to the natural log. So I kind of always have to do this to myself. If I, if I forget, I, I this is the trick, right? A is equal to e to the natural log of A, right? And so a to the x is really equal to this. So this is really equal e to the natural log a times x by exponent rule. So the derivative of this is e to the natural log of a x times natural log of a. And then I convert this back, e to the natural log of a, which is a. So it's a to the x natural log a. So I always rederive it from e just because I never remember. But it is multiply. So then so far I don't have to do too much of a calculator. I need to get a little widget that makes this stay on top all the time. That would be great. I, I'm sure it's really easy in Windows. I just need to do it. So I need to add that to my list of things to do to just make this a little bit easier times natural log of 0 0.931 minus 0 0.056. Again, because uh, A is in now, what is a rate? It's, this is also a rate. It's pounds per day. Because it's also a slope, right? This is a secant slope, and this is an instantaneous slope. So they're both in pounds per day. Find the time for which the amount of grass clippings in the bin is equal to the average amount of grass clippings in the bin over the interval. Okay, so I need two things. I need the average amount of grass clippings. And okay, so I want A of T to be the average amount over the whole interval, zero to 30, A of T DT over 30 minus zero. This part of the equation is the average rate, average, average value, and this is the instantaneous value. So um, this was, uh, 
Oh, I, I don't have an answer for it. So um, why don't we use the calculator to do this one. So integral. Which one I want to do? Oops. I'm just integral of uh, the function, which is 6.687 times 0 0.931 to the x, ranging from 0 to 30, divided by 30. 2.753 has to equal a of t, so that's equal to 6.687 times 0.931 to the t. So I'm going to divide the two, 2.753 over 6.687 is equal to 0.931 to the t. Then I take the natural log of both sides. So then this becomes t natural log of 0.931. So I'm going to divide by the natural log of 0.931 to get over there. And that is all I need to do. So um, 2.5, oh, okay, let's say natural log of 2.753 divided by 6.687 divided by the natural log of 0 0.931. 12, and that is t is equal to 12.4, should I, uh, see this is why, 413, 4, one three days okay and then part d for t is greater than 30 l of t is a linear approximation to a at t equals 30 is a better model for the amount of grass clippings remaining in the bin okay use l of t to predict the time at which there will be 0 0.5 pound grass of okay for t is used to predict the time at which there will be 0.5. Okay, so let's do the linear approximation first. The linear approximate. Okay, so I think what they're saying is um, we do the derivative. We're saying that whatever it is, so let's see, the amount remaining is a of 30. a of 30, I didn't compute a of 30 directly. It's a of 30 minus a prime of 30 times t minus 30. Why do I do t minus 30 here? Uh, t minus, because it starts at 30. So we're starting at 30 and we're subtracting this. I, I think this is fine. So this is, um, well, what's a of 30? I should have defined the function, but that's fine. Um, 6.687 times 0 0.931 to the 30th. 0 0.783, 0 0.783 minus uh, 0 0.056 times t minus 30, and we want to know when that equals to 0 0.5. Okay, so I can do 0 0.783 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.056, then plus 30 to equal t. So then t equals um let's get my calculator again point seven eight three minus point five divided by point two eight three divided by point zero five six plus uh thirty thirty five point oh five four days okay um, let's 
Where are the solutions? Scoring guidelines right here. Okay, um, minus 0.197. Yep, 0.197 pounds per day. Minus 0.16. Oh, this is right. This is this is not good. I had this number wrong. Let's take a look. What did I do wrong on the calculator? Oh, it's at 15. See, I plugged in 30. Whoops. Um, okay, fine. Um, why don't we just double check? Make sure that we would have gotten the right answer. 6.687 times 0 0.931 to the 15 times natural log of 0 0.931. Minus 0 0.164. Okay, yeah. Pretend I did that instead. That sucks. Um, it also means like um, in part D, I used the wrong slope. So let's just fix that. Minus 0.114. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Uh, C, um, 12.415, 413. Guess I probably rounded a little bit there. And then 35.054. Oh wait, no, 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 I had it right, 0 0.056. Sorry, that part was right. Because I had computed negative 0.056. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, okay, cool. So we just really missed up because they wanted 15 here. I can't believe I um, computed that wrong. Okay, and I did write an explanation. That's fine. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, free response question. Hopefully I do a little bit better. Thanks for watching the video guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.